I am, as one might say, a Linux gamer, and I also like to buy my video games. Now, for those of you out there who say all the seven Cs, you may not understand my pain, but the Steam Linux client is an absolute buggy and laggy mess. Now, there's not really much that can be done about the bugginess. Basically, just keep reporting bugs, and maybe over time they'll actually be dealt with. But the lagginess, that's something you now have a bit of control over. So what you should do is get yourself into the Steam beta. Usually that setting is going to be under your account settings. I am in the beta, so the option's been moved. Usually be like right around here though. Just check the Steam website for it. Because right now, there has been a really big change made. Hardware acceleration now works in Steam. That option is going to be under settings, under interface, and make sure these options are enabled. Now, previously, there was hardware acceleration in the form of options. Those options didn't work. They were a placebo, and they've been like that for many years. But now, as it says in the Steam Desktop Update blog, if we go right down to the bottom, Mac and Linux. The technical work in this update also makes it possible to enable hardware acceleration for Mac and Linux versions of Steam, bringing them up to par with Windows. I wouldn't say they're up to par, but at least they are up to par in terms of hardware acceleration. You should see snappier animations, scrolling, and a more responsive UI. Linux users can try the new client out today. For Mac users, you will have to wait a couple of weeks as we are hard at work getting the client ready for public testing. And from my experience, yeah, it is. Okay, besides, sometimes the store page will freeze a little bit when I first load it. But besides that, yeah, it is a lot snappier and it just feels much, much nicer. I don't really have any objective numbers here, like it is this much faster, blah, 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 blah. But from my personal experience, it does feel a lot smoother and a lot nicer to work with. My suggestion is just try it out, see how it goes, and if you don't like the hardware acceleration for whatever reason, or maybe it's a little bit funky with your hardware, just go and disable it and keep the beta enabled because that's not the only fun thing that's been added. Sure, there is all this stuff about, oh, you know, new overlay stuff. Look, there's a notes app and blah, 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 blah. All this cool stuff that's going to be on every single version of Steam. All of that stuff is boring and I don't really care about it. Also, it just says it in the blog. For some reason, though, the biggest Linux change is not mentioned in the blog whatsoever, and I don't understand why. Maybe the person writing the blog post didn't know about it, maybe they didn't intend to get it merged just yet, and it was supposed to come in like a later version of the beta, I don't really know. But, do you guys know that god-awful Steam file picker? That thing that barely worked, and when it did work, it was really slow, and sometimes you couldn't click on things, the, like, the hitboxes were so tiny, and sometimes you wanted to, like, go through your file system, it just completely frees up, and it just basically didn't work. Well, now, you don't ever have to see it again. Let's say I want to add a non-Steam game. Let's go to that menu, and go to Browse. Normally, this would open the Steam file picker. Now it doesn't. This is the GTK file picker. And the only reason it's the GTK file picker is because that is what I have set up on my system. If you're using KDE, it's going to be the KDE file picker. And if you're using other desktops that have their own custom file pickers, it is going to be that file picker instead. Because now it's not using whatever, I believe Chromium they're using on the back end automatically finds. Now what it's doing is using XDG desktop portals. Now, we've talked about desktop portals here a thousand times before, so I'm not going to get deep into what they are today. Go just watch any of my previous portal videos. But desktop portals are a tech that came out of Linux flat packs. Now, I am not using the Steam flat pack myself. I just don't really see the value in doing so using, you know, Arch Linux. But if you are using the Steam flat pack, 
Using the old file picker was even worse because if you have any sort of file sandboxing set up for the flat pack, the file picker just couldn't find anything. Basically, you have to delete the entire sandbox for the file picker to actually work. Now, you don't have to do that. The whole purpose of the desktop portals is to work in conjunction with the sandbox and let you access resources outside of it without completely busting the sandbox open. Now, from my experience, the beta is still a little bit flaky. For example, editing my profile, this button doesn't work right now, so I can't upload a new avatar. Plus, obviously, we saw the, you know, interface freezing a little bit here and there on random page loads. So it's by no means perfect, and maybe you want to wait until it makes its way into the regular stable client. But if you really just don't like the Steam file picker... It at least works for browsing games, which is the one that I ever use. I just don't care about changing my Steam profile picture. Just being able to browse games without using the god-awful file picker is reason enough for me to use the beta. Now, the file picker was reported as a problem a couple of years ago. It's been a problem the entire time it's existed, but it was actually reported back in 2020. Let users decide if they want to use a system native file chooser. This is just his system information. Please describe your issue in as much detail as possible. It would be better if the user could opt into a more system native option like the GTK file chooser or the QT file chooser. They don't have to be required to install Steam, just let the user call them if they are available. Keep in mind, back in 2020, I believe portals were available, but remember this is using Chromium and all that stuff on the back end, and I don't believe if portals were around, they were supported by that. So unless they were going to implement it themselves, that really wasn't going to be happening. This just didn't really receive that much feedback. 11 people upvoted it, and then two years later was the first other comment. Actually, I'm just noticing this now. I don't know why this issue was allowed to exist, because it was actually reported as a problem back in 2015. So I don't know why this one was closed in favour of, uh, of, of this one, but it was. I guess... Valve is weird about how they manage their repo. Also, Sven did report the exact same thing again two years later, this time actually referencing desktop portals. Over the years, we have had issues on Linux regarding dialogues, specifically file pickers. They usually did not fit into the environment outside of the applications, mostly because the toolkit usually did not support it. The people who created Flatpak created XDG desktop portals for satisfying that purpose, though this is not a Flatpak only solution. Using them, you can replace the picker with ones more appropriate to the operating system, bringing a lot of the experience to par with Windows. For example, this dialog, which in no offense is very bad usability-wise, that being the Steam file picker. Now, this did get closed as well because, you know, he already created basically the same issue um, two years earlier, just not knowing about the portals. So my hope is all of the remaining issues with the portals get ironed out and then I never have to see the Steam file picker again. And that will be a really, really good day. The hardware acceleration is nice as well, but whatever. Don't really care that much about it. The important thing for me is the death of the Steam file picker, and then maybe one day we can see, you know, a more native Wayland version of the Steam client. It works fine through X Wayland, but maybe a native version would be nice someday. And possibly getting rid of that .steam directory that exists in my home directory. Maybe making it something a bit more XDG friendly. I don't see that ever happening. I'm pretty sure that was reported a long time ago and they didn't want to fix it. Like a lot of projects like Mozilla with Firefox and a bunch of others out there as well. But those are only minor things, so let me know. Do you care about the Steam file picker? Do you actually like the Steam file picker? If you like the Steam file picker, I want to know why. Please, at least one good reason why it's good. I don't think you have one, but tell me. 
Otherwise, do you like the portal change? Do you like the hardware acceleration change? I would love to know. And if you like the video, go and like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one over these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, Scribe, Silly Barrow Pay link in the description down below. That's going to be it for me and buy your games. They time at a car, they play at your